is good, we've got this story. Uh, here's what we know about Universal Fan Fest nights at Universal Studios Hollywood. Now, when we originally broke this story on that park place, we had an idea of the franchises that might actually be included with these Fan Fest nights that were going to be taking place at Universal Studios Hollywood on the West Coast. Uh, but but we didn't really have a lot of details to go along with it. Now we do actually know a little bit more, uh, not just the franchises that are featured, but the particulars about said franchises that are featured. Like, in fact, Marvin, you might like this right here. Uh, Fan Fest Nights coming April 25th through May 18th. And apparently the Star Trek portion of this, which they'll feature anime Dungeons and Dragons, Back to the Future and so forth, will actually feature the next generation version of the USS Enterprise that was <laughs> featured in uh, Picard season three. What do you think? Oh, make it so. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's perfect right there. This is pretty cool, right? This is awesome. Apparently you will actually be on the set the 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 um the the bridge of the USS Enterprise D from Star Trek Next Generation. This is really really cool. We actually had a um uh a look at uh, at least a chair at LA Comic Con uh, at the South Hall booth 1054. Pretty cool. This is shaping up to be pretty awesome. It's like a um, Halloween Horror Nights, but for you know kind of classic IPs and stuff like that. Nolan, mm -hmm. come on, you got to be excited. Do you know how long I've waited for them to bring something like this back? They had something like this in Vegas years ago. I never got to do it. I, you've made my day, dude. Like, I am so astronomically happy right now. This is the kind of hype thing that gets people happy. This is what we wanted from Galaxy's Edge and not Star Trek, obviously. But we wanted to be able to recreate those iconic scenes. And it's like one for one. And I guess that's what happened to the chair after Star Trek Generations when uh, that ship kind of died. But no, this is I am on cloud nine right now, and I cannot express how happy I am just to see. I never thought a chair could make me so happy in my life. But when absolute win. Well, you know, uh, we, we, we have we have formed our bridge party for uh, for Tuny Talk TV, Nolan, and you are the helmsman. That does make you Wesley Crusher, though. You know what? I'm okay with being Will Wheaton. I'll take it. I'll take it at this Shut point. Up. Shut up, Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, this is I think this is really, really cool. And the fun doesn't stop here. In fact, we heard that anime might be involved in these uh, uh, fan fest nights at Universal Studios Hollywood. And now we actually have the franchises uh, that will specifically be featured. One Punch will be featured along with Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, apparently they do have a one piece, I believe stunt show occurring in the water world theater out there in, in, in Japan, universal Osaka. We're assuming that that might actually take place, uh, here as well at the water world theater, uh, universal studios, Hollywood in LA. So that's pretty cool. Also too, um, back to the future will be featured. We don't know exactly what, what they might have in store, but I am hearing from sources that what they have in store for Back to the Future is going to be really, really cool. So that's uh, very exciting. Also, too, Dungeons and Dragons. We didn't get much in the way of details on that, but I mean, hey, this is this is shaping up to be really, really, really cool. Uh, last mm. but not least, I guess you're going to be uh, having a Nifflin encounter. For the Walt, for the Wizarding World portion of Fan Fest Nights, the same thing we believe takes place right now at Universal Osaka. So this See, is that's all really cool because really cool. I, I, you know what, Vash, I, I thought it was at Disney where they just steal all your money. So that's going to be an interesting <laughs> <laughs> copy from Universal. <laughs> Marvin, you come up with the stuff. <laughs> You're so good at this. Uh, no, I look, you know. I, I I I think Universal prides itself on being an equal opportunity offender when it comes to that stuff. I don't know, but um, I I think this is I think this is really cool, uh, a Halloween Horror Nights type event, but more maybe family friendly and more uh, franchise driven, especially with franchises that aren't usually under Universal's control. I think is really really awesome. Bob, you looking forward to it? Uh, I think it might be kind of fun. I mean, it, the more and more they talk about it, the more and more uh, exciting it sounds. So, uh, yeah, it sounds like something is kind of right up my alley. So, yeah, I, I would like to go. Nolan, you're going to be flying I, out across country for this? 
Oh yeah, totally. Like, um, is this going to line up? How close is going to be to the launch of Epic Universe? Uh, it should take place before. before. Um, so the official nights are April 25th through May, May 18th. And um, we're wondering if they're going to incorporate parts of the back lot, if they're going to incorporate some of the stages, uh, the sound stages that they have uh, on the lower lot and so forth that they do with um, Halloween Horror Nights right now. We're still seeing about that, but but I think I think Epic might open after this, but I'm actually not sure. Marvin? Uh, I mean, look, I'm not going to go all the way to Hollywood for it. If they ever bring it to Orlando, I will gleefully go to every single night of it. But I mean, yeah, and, and a lot of times they'll they'll pilot something like this in Hollywood before bringing it to other parks. So if they bring Correct. this over onto the um, onto the East Coast, then sure, I'll, I'll go to it. I think it'd be great. Uh, I love um, Halloween Horror Nights. I was just there again on yeah. Friday. So, you know, I think it would I, th I think it's a great idea. I hope it succeeds. And if it comes, uh, you know, to a closer place to me, then I will be happy to go to it. But I'm not flying all the way out there just for that. You know, I'll give Universal credit. I, they have been sending out a series of um, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, surveys in order to find out what people will react to in terms of franchises, properties and so forth. I know there was a there was a survey the other day where they were talking about Christopher Nolan films and would you be interested in in, in like an Oppenheimer type experience? I don't even know what that would actually <laughs> entail, uh, but uh, it does seem that they're a little I'd bit I'd be more... afraid of that. Yeah, I'd be a little afraid of what that would be like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it just is it just a one big explosion? I don't know. <laughs> um, but uh, but no, I, they, they seem... melts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, you, you know, you get. Uh, radiation poisoning. Oh, there's, 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 there you go. You start out with Oppenheimer, then you go with uh, Fallout. That's how they're doing it right there. The radiation they poisoning see, oh. is the souvenir you get after the experience. There you go. Wow. The real, the I'm, real I'm, gift was the radiation poisoning we made along the way. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, uh, in the ghouls and so forth. But they seem to be a little bit more fan oriented, and I'll give them credit for that. I think you make a good point, Marvin. They they do. Uh, host this stuff in Hollywood first, and then they, you know, if there's any viability, they'll bring it out to other parks. Is there any franchise, Marvin, I will say, that would get you to fly out, if any? I mean, if if, if they added, like, um, some more Nintendo stuff before Orlando got it, then that would be something that might pull me out there. I just hate to fly. I really hate to fly. So, like, to take a six-hour sure. flight would definitely be... Um, it's got to be something really big to pull me out there. Like, my uh, Mrs. Movie Monster tries to make the 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 point every single year that we should go to Disneyland because I've never been. And every time I think about the flight, I just say to myself, or we could do another Disney cruise. And then we end up doing another Disney cruise. Well, I would recommend uh, coming out in Disneyland at least mm. once. But I understand uh, it, it it is quite the, the journey, the trek to, to go out to uh, to Disneyland in California. It's its own vibe. It's it, I think it's it is really cool, especially when you have all the entertainment running like gangbusters. Definitely worth a visit. But I can see the point of going into the cruise. Eh, hard yeah. to say. Well, I mean, just, you just take a, you know, a three day uh, Amtrak train across the country. That's all you do. Oh, that sounds great. Like three times the price and, and and a million times as long. That sounds amazing. <laughs> well, you don't like to fly, guy. so I'm just looking for another option there. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's also a little bit too. It's a little. It's a little too close to Spencer Bakuli. Like I try to keep a safe distance, so you know. <laughs> I just, just waiting for his waiting for his whole Haps comment in the comments right now. <laughs> Come on out! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta call you out. That was a highlight from our live stream on That Park Place Podcast it's online, where the full stream can be found at the link in the description. But what about you? What were your thoughts on this particular story? Please let us know in the comments below. Like this video if you did like this video. Share us out as it helps us out tremendously against the YouTube algorithm. And thank you so much for watching. T3, B.O. Please comment, like, and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to That Park Place Podcasts online. Your source for exclusive content and highlights from WDW Pro, The Pro Show, and That Park Place for all the news that should be fun.